All right, let's take a look at how to create net interconnectivity between your schematics using a flat design with ports. To start, make sure that you go into Project, Project Options, and under the Options tab, you've ensured that your net identifier scope is set to flat. And now for this example, I have a GPIO net connected to an ESD protection diode array, which I want to send to an input-output pin on my microcontroller. So as you can see here, they're not connected yet. We have an error saying that we have nets with only one pin, and so there's no logical connection between these two pins. So, in order to fix that, we're going to place down some ports, and first call this GPIO1, and place down another port over here, naming it the same thing. And as you can see, our error is now gone and these pins are now logically connected. But if we wanted to add multiple GPIO pins, there's a better solution than simply using multiple ports. And we can do this more efficiently by using a bus. So let's get rid of this for now and quickly set up some more GPIO nets simply by placing down a wire and then copying and pasting that a few times can then set up net labels here. And to do this quickly, you can press tab to open up the properties tab of the net and then change the net label designator. So now it's GPA1 and on subsequent placements, uh, it'll automatically increment. Just like that, we have five GPIO nets. Uh, we then tie each of these to the bus using a bus entry. And then we actually place down our bus using the place bus command. If you want to make your schematic look nice, then you can press shift space to toggle the placement mode of your bus. So from 90 degrees to 45 degrees. And then give yourself a bit of space to place down a net label on the bus. And it's important that when you name your bus, you follow the same uh, naming guide in convention as you do your nets. They all need to follow the same convention where you have a net name followed by a number, and each of those subnets is going to follow that convention. And then your actual bus is named your net name followed by the last and then the first number of the subnets, or the first and then last also works. All right, then we're going to place down a port here, and we'll just call it the same thing as the bus, and extend that a bit. And then to quickly bring this over to the other sheet, we can simply copy and paste, and then press X to flip uh, horizontally, connect that, and as you can see, we have a logical connection between all of these pins. Uh, note that there's other types of ports as well. The power port and ground port will automatically be shared between nets if you use them. So for example, I have a plus 5 volts net here and a 3.3 volt net here across my regulator. And this is automatically shared to the microcontroller net by using this uh, voltage port symbol. So these are all connected. You can also use an off-sheet connector. Uh, the difference between an off-sheet connector and a port is that an off-sheet connector will only share visibility, visibility between sheets which are under the same top-level schematic sheet. And we'll talk about other ways to organize your design.